Welcome to my Blazer Knights, it's me Blazix, and welcome back to Blazix Reacts today. We're gonna be reacting to, five years later, episode 4, crossover series. Without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Wanna go check out the Ink Tanks channel? The link will be down below. Wanna go check out the original video stuff above? I could go check it out, let's jump right in. Without further ado, Blazix Reacts, let's blaze in action. I come from a race called the Cronians. Oh, it's Eon's time to shine. We understood the laws of physics so, so well that we learned to break them. Shaping time and space as we pleased. We were titans, divine, on par with the gods. But the strain of this power was not meant for mortals such as ourselves. As we pulled from the nectars of the universe, they pulled back at us. Every breach in time, every time. shift in reality, it wore our bodies down, making us weak and frail. From this weakness came anger. From this anger came war. That much power made us reckless, and our race was dying. Let's... He was gonna bring back this whole Our world. universe collapsing. Would this not have happened again? We needed a new home. But what to say? This doesn't. In our studies again. through the cosmos, we discovered the hands of Armageddon, an artifact said to exist simultaneously in every dimension. It was the key to escaping our diminishing reality. But we were so feeble and few, one more leap would be fatal for a single Cronian. We all agreed to offer a fraction of our remaining power, uniting us all to bear the pain as one. However, one of us must volunteer to go through the rift, find that universe's version of the hands, and power it from the other side to bring us to a new utopia. From there, we would teach that new universe the error of our ways, guiding them to greatness through our leadership. They needed someone young, fresh, and fearless. I was chosen to be their messiah. They called me Eon. This is my story. Ben Tennyson! Danny Benton! I love it. I love it. I'm so angry he added Zim in this, but I love it. I love this so much. Pass me the size 23 wrench. The top shelf next to the is titanium. That, is that shelf. Animal? Why don't you get it yourself? Tetanus! What do you want? A pretty please? You can float! It'd be much more practical for you to reach the wrench than for me! Not interested. Fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a nostalgia. <sighs> These are your statue. other associates. Looks like I wasn't your first recruit from my universe. How many worlds have you gone to already? Vlad? You're still around? <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> what happened to you? Run into that phantom brat again? This is not what I agreed to. It is if you desire the power I can give you. Oh, and you completed your assignment. Take it! So, what did you steal? Is that it's actually Zim? That's it! That Zim's no actor. glory speech, no elaboration. You gotta give me something here. Yes, I find it amusing that you come to us with promises of power, with no explanation of your motives. I've been building this damn thing for over a month! I feel entitled to know what I'm working for! Why did you ask that before? You are here by your own choice. 
You are entitled to nothing. And if that's how it is, you better tell us what we're after, or we'll walk! The more that any of you know about my procedure, the more you become a liability. Each one of you are here for a very specific reason. And replacing you would be a... complication. Yeah, that's more like it! If you need us, I'd like some respect around here. Got it? A complication is not an impossibility. Do not misinterpret my words. But if you are that driven to learn more, I should reward your bold curiosity. I came from my world in search of a new home. But as I am still Cronian, every leap through reality made me weaker. After years of searching for the hands of Armageddon, I could no longer power it from the other side. I was running out of time. Through my voyage across the multiverse, I learned of the Omnitrix, a device that allows the user to transform into an arsenal of alien creatures. A young human boy from Earth was the wielder of this device. I predicted it could create a new Cronian to replace me in my travels. I needed that device. It did! I needed Ben Tennyson. Alas, it took a few tries. This boy was more resilient than I had anticipated. With every failure, I would go back in time and try again. This and you lost. cost me my life. You lost how many times? Until one try, it finally worked. I transformed the boy into a Cronian, using myself as a DNA sample. And as my consciousness drifted into his body, I was reborn anew. But I soon found this solution to be only temporary. This body would one day fall too. Every time my body would reach its limits, I would go to a new universe and obtain another Ben Tennyson. Oh God! I started to collect them in advance, for insurance. Oh my god! Some would become my pawns, others experiments. My fate became so intertwined with this boy for a time, I started to believe I was Ben Tennyson. But no longer. I refuse to be stuck in this infinite cycle. I will transcend to greatness beyond what my people could ever do. Then I will deliver paradise across the multiverse. That is my destiny. And how do you expect to do that? In due time, everything will fall into place. What? Take this humble gathering with vigilance. We are not companions. This will not happen again. Shh. Yeah, I don't think so. You still haven't told us anything worth something to me. You think I'm just gonna stay in this lab and let you... He did this to take this? I have a fire! My apologies. I can't hear you over your soul slipping away at my hands. Now learn your place. Oh! Eon might be more cold-blooded than Vilgax. You can't keep that up for long, can you? Like I've said, each of you are here for a very specific reason. Dr. Animal, who comes from the same world as Ben Prime, for your expertise in biological alteration. Technus of the Ghost Zone, for your technopathic abilities. And Zim of this unique world, who can provide us with a base of operations and technology that would otherwise be an obstacle to obtain. And me? Technus, please help our new guest repair his wardrobe malfunction, and then wait in the launch pad room. Oh, we going somewhere? Let me guess. You can't tell me that either. <laughs> We're going to steal a dwarf star. I'm, 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 fun. I'm, 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 you like red? Actually, yes. Yeah, <laughs> groovy. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it suits me. I don't like it. He needs a cape. <laughs> oh, that's it. It feels like it was shorter. But who am I to like? There's two more episodes that I'll record. Awesome episode, Ink Tank. I cannot wait to react to the next two. You'll see them in the next few days, and you know I'm going to enjoy them. Anyways, I do hope you all enjoy. Be sure to leave a like, add to your favorites. Want to see more Scorch Now videos from this channel, subscribe. I make videos weekly or daily, depending on my schedule. Have any requests for reactions whatsoever, leave a link to that video down below. Make sure it's something you'll be interested in, like Mario, Sonic, Ben 10, TMNT, or Pokemon, and I will definitely react to it. Our goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers, so help me reach that goal, and you'll get a special video from yours truly. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos. And remember, many hearts never part. Let them all blaze the nights. Blazing! Blazing now! Until next time, take care.